it's vital that we have healthy functioning mitochondria. And so what can we do to support our mitochondria? Well, one is you want to have a good fuel source. So you want to have the right amount of glucose or fatty acids in the form of ketones coming in as the fuel source. And two, you want to have the a right amount of oxygen getting inside the cell. So what can you do to enhance oxygen? Well, you can exercise. Exercise has been shown to be good for mitochondria, particularly high intensity interval training. You can go in hyperbaric oxygen chamber where you're really upregulating the amount of oxygen going to the mitochondria. You can exercise with oxygen. That's called EWOT. That, that also enhances the amount of oxygen. And then you can take a different strategy altogether and do something called intermittent hypoxic training or altitude training, which cycles you from normal levels of oxygen to mild hypoxia. And then over time, that releases, that triggers the transcription of genes that release products that will enhance our ability to utilize oxygen more efficiently. So it's a different strategy, but the end result is the same. The, then what other nutrients and things can be helpful to support your mitochondria? Well, you need, you need NAD as the energy catalyst, and you can do NAD IVs. We have phenomenal results doing NAD IVs in this clinic for people with neurodegenerative diseases, chronic fatigue states, et cetera. And you can orally take precursors to NAD, NMN, NMR, and niacinamide, which is what I've been doing recently for patients because it's less expensive and it works just as well. You can also um, work with coenzyme Q10. Coenzyme Q10 is actually a shuttler of these electrons within the electron transport chain. It shuttles electrons from complex one to complex two. You can do red light therapy. Red light therapy actually helps cytochrome C oxidase, which is another shuttler within the electron transport chain. It's a photosensitive enzyme and it will shuttle the electrons from complex three to complex four so that it ultimately can, can produce the ATP. And then there are other products that have been shown to enhance mitophagy, which is where the body will edit and repair damaged mitochondria and birth new mitochondria. And one of the products that's blowing my mind right now in terms of the research is urolithin A, which is a product that can be produced by, our, by a healthy microbiome. Unfortunately, a lot of our microbiomes are skewed and not producing enough urolithin A. And you can actually test for that now, what your level is. But thankfully, you can take urolithin A as a supplement. I've been doing that for a while and noticing that my energy really improves when I'm consistently taking it. And now that I've seen even more convincing data on it being one of the most powerful inducers of mitophagy, I'm going to take it every day. I already took it today. So I think that's something that's going to become part of my stack in the morning, which you know includes my mana product, which has also good data for supporting the mitochondria, the urolithin A, some some uh, CoQ10, and then of course the the lifestyle things that we know to be helpful: the waking up, going outside, letting the light come in your eyes. We know that that is the near infrared and red light wavelengths are very important for the mitochondria. Um, grounding having your feet on the earth is also important. And then of course, the daily practice of exercising and eating high life force quotient foods. So I hope that helps. I'm super inspired to do everything I can for my mitochondria. And I think the strategy is working like, you know, in terms of helping me to, 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 to age well and to be very as healthy as I possibly can be.